This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This recording by Zachary Brewster Geis, Greenbelt, Maryland, September 2006. The Man Who Was Thursday, A Nightmare, by G.K. Chesterton. To Edmund Clarity Bentley. A cloud was on the mind of men, and wailing went to the weather. Yea, a sick cloud upon the soul when we were boys together. Science announced non-entity, and art admired decay. The world was old and ended, but you and I were gay. Round us in antic order their crippled vices came. Lust that had lost its laughter, fear that had lost its shame. Like the white lock of Whistler that lit our aimless gloom, men showed their own white feather as proudly as a plume. Life was a fly that faded and death a drone that stung. The world was very old indeed. They twisted even decent sin to shapes not to be named. Men were ashamed of honor. Sweet and sudden as a bird sings in the rain. Truth out of Tusitala spoke, and pleasure out of pain. Yea, cool and clear and sudden as a bird sings in the gray, Dunedin to Samoa spoke, and darkness unto day. But we were young. We lived to see God break their bitter charms. God and the good republic come riding back in arms. We have seen the city of Mansoul, even as it rocked, relieved. Blessed are they who did not see, but being blind, believed. This is a tale of those old fears, even of those emptied without moving. Syme drained his last glass of sparkling wine. I am, he said, pointing across to the Marquis and his companions. That meeting. That meeting displeases me. I am going to pull that meeting's great, ugly, mahogany-colored nose. He stepped across swiftly, if not quite steadily. The Marquis, seeing him, arched his black Assyrian eyebrows in surprise, but smiled politely. You are Mr. Syme, I think, he said. 